Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. My name is Grace from Grace's Diamond World and if this is your first time stumbling on my channel, I would love for you to stumble, stay and subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down below, next to which is a notification bell, which will go ding each and every single time I upload a new video. I have a long awaited unboxing today. I've got how many? How many have I got? One, two, three, four. Count Gracie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven to one box. Seven, seven. Are you looking at me on eyeballs? Seven paintings to one box. It's going to be a mega marathon. Strap yourselves in. Come with me for the ride. Before we do that, let's throw some love out to the Patreons of the channel, those that have shown support throughout the way and throughout my journey. Let's throw them some love and I'm going to see you guys on the flip side. Come with me. Alrighty, are you ready? Are you ready? I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to unbox from my probably all-time favourite artist. I'm going to not even lie about it. Let's get into it. You can see from the pink stripe across here, these, how many have we got? Five around. These two are square. Okay, squares on, oh, did I even say they're from Diamond Art Club? <laughs> they are from Diamond Art Club. Let's hide what they are. Oh, you saw that. Okay, you saw the first one. This is going to be the first one. You can always tell a round diamond painting from Diamond Art Club because it's got a round, it's in pink and all the good stuff. We're going to, we might as well do this one first. And yes, you probably would have guessed from the thumbnail by now that we are doing Mandy Manzano. Let's put that over there. Let's get my sink tap out of, okay. We're going to do Mandy Manzano. She is my all-time favourite, favourite artist uh, out of Diamond Art Club. I love her work, which is really strange because those of you that know me, you know that I tend to go towards uh, landscapes and portraits and Mandy Manzano quite often are probably neither of those. However, I love this style of artwork. So, as we go through Diamond Art, these paintings, I'm going to show you what you get with a Diamond Art Club box and, and the toolkit and all of that good stuff, just on the smallest of chances that this is your first time stumbling on a diamond painting channel and you've not seen this brand before. So on the box, you'll get a generic picture. It'll tell you that it's round. You'll get a thumbnail. This is what we're going to be looking at today, Providence. Okay, it is a round. It is a 51 by 66. It's got ABs on the, oh, and I write, on, see it's, I've written on there because I'm going to take this off in a minute. I write on the side what the painting is. You've got all your instructions, how it works, and all that good stuff. So let's get into what you get with the Diamond Art Club kit. Now, they have since come out with newer kits that have got newer tool kits in their, in their what do you call them? In their boxes, okay? I've got the old tool kit. You also get a sticker, all right? This one here, I am learning to put on the box. And we're gonna put this on the end of the box. Like, let's do it, I don't know. This way, this way, this way. We'll do it this way. Cause that's, and then that way I'll be able to see what it is. All right, done. Toolkit. Let's do it once. We'll go through it once just so that you get an idea, okay? So you get a blue pen, you get a whole bunch of baggies, two plates of wax, a four plates of squishy and a tray, okay? That is your basic toolkit. Everything that you need, if this is your first time doing a diamond painting, to do your diamond painting comes in a bag. Now, history to these paintings. You may or may not have seen people unbox them on other channels before, and that's okay. You've come along to my channel. Um, you're going to get to see what I think of them now. All right, so soft on the back is their, is their canvas. You can see that it's scalloped, okay, and poked, if you will, on the edge there. It's not gonna be any surprise as to what painting this is. You can see that it's laying out relatively quickly. You have step-by-step -step instructions. In there is a coupon code as well. There are many, many, um, what do you call it? Affiliates for Diamond Art Club. There's plenty of codes 
everywhere, everywhere, uh, so that you don't ever pay the retail cost price online. We have Providence here, we have 38 colors. Rather than showing you on the canvas, we'll have a look here at the symbols. So we can see here we've got one, two, how many? One, two, three, four. <coughs> Pardon me. Excuse me, sorry, I've got a bit of a cold. So one, two, three, four. So how do I know? Any number that's uh, 150 or below is going to be an AB, and I'll tell you what those are in a minute. So I can see that we've got four, and these are the symbols. Pretty normal for Diamond Art Club symbols here. Okay. Round, like I said, and these are all individual stickers. Look at this. Oh, love life, love life for kidding up. All right, let's get into the painting. Here are our diamonds. They are labelled with uh, the name of the painting on there as well, just in case you store your paintings separate to your diamonds. You can locate these quite easily. It just feels so small. <laughs> uh, let me turn this around. All right, are you ready? Uno, due, e tre. Love this. I have very, 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 very special plans for this. It is a secret. Uh, you will know in good time what the plans are. But, oh my goodness. So, down the bottom we have the credit to the artist, Mandy Manzano, Diamond Art Club, 51 by 66, Providence, and the code, and that it's got AB. You've got a thumbnail here. You've got a legend up there and down here. She is sticky. She is beautiful. There is a little baby, shape of a baby in here. I love this. Oh my goodness. I'm loving this. This is gonna work up so super quick, actually. So, so super quick. Isn't that absolutely magnificent? Indeed, I have, oh, I wish I could tell you. I wish I could tell you, but I have such plans for this. Such, such plans. Mm, I wish I could tell you. <laughs> All right, so you've got the two beautiful hands here. Now, Mandy Manzano, her artwork is typically got that stained glass look, and that's why I love her artwork. It's just got that magical feel about it. It is beautiful. I love these swirls around here. You've got the rose at the top. She's holding a rose with a little bubba in there. You've got a rose down the bottom here as well. And there is a, sh I was gonna swear back then, but no, I won't. I have to lift it up because my zoom is not working. However, there is a lot, a lot of color blocking. Oh, I'm excited even more so. How many colors did we say? We said 38 colors. You wouldn't think so. You wouldn't think so. However, for those of you that wanna know breakdowns, I can tell you this is all color blocking. This is color blocking. All that pink is color blocking. You've got color blocking in the corners there. You've got a bit of confetti in the black, in, in the swirls. And then just as you see all these shades, see that? That's all color blocks as well. So I feel that this is gonna work up really, really quickly. Let me, whilst I open these up, you guys have a look at the original artwork on, on the website. Total disclosure right now, I don't know which of these are still available and which are discontinued at the time of this recording or if they're on back order. So just be aware of that. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of the diamonds, but if you will get a sense of the color palette that you're working with. What I do want to do is dig out the ABs. Um, we're looking for four of them. I can see that there's been, oh no, they're just not, okay. What am I looking for? These ones, one, two, nine. I should go get my scissors. I need my scissors for this. Oh, no, that'll tear. I'm always scared of tearing. No, I'm gonna go get my scissors. All right, got my scissors. All right, so one, two, nine. I was trying not to disrupt these too much. 
Let's see if we can find our ABs. And what's an AB? I'm so glad you asked, just in case you didn't know. An Aurora Borealis, or AB, as we fondly know them to be in diamond painting, is a diamond that's got an extra special coating on them that makes them, and I'm gonna show you what I mean, makes them shine and glisten and do all the things. Come on. It's been a while since I've done an unboxing, so bear with me a sec while I find. There's another one. And I'm looking for one more, peeps. Can you tell me where it is? In the meantime, you're getting to see all the colours. Ah, here we go. All right. So this just doesn't feel like a lot of colours at all. Compared to the paintings that I'm used to doing, this definitely does not feel like a lot of colours. The bags are not even bulging and they're not even, you know, that full. So I'm rather excited. This is going to be the next one that I kit up because like I said, I have special plans. All right, so these are our four ABs. Now you can see an AB has got an extra special coating on them that makes them sparkle and twinkle even more. And when you put them on your painting, it makes uh, the buddy diamonds next to them sparkle and twinkle even more again. So let's see where they all go. Let's see where they all go. Let's start in numerical order. We've got one. 01, which is this blue, and the blue is the number one. Go figure that logic, right? Whoever would have thought. My goodness. Okay, so. Um, let me see. Number one. Okay, so it's lining here, there. It's swir It's following the black inside. Wherever you see my hand go down and point is the number one. There, there. Is that a one as well? Oh, in here, there as well. So this lighter blue, see that? There and here and here. So it's gonna sparkle all around. That's the blue and, I've, and continuing on down here as well, not so much. Not so much down here. So it's kind of like that around there. That's the blue. Then we go one, two, eight, which is this teeny tiny amount of pink, which is the number two. That's going to be in the rows here. Uh, I can see it here. I can see some around there, some in here. So it's going to be predominantly in there. Is there any in the top rows? No. And none in the bottom. So it's going to be sprinkled in here. 129 is the number three. And where have they put this? Oh, in the hand here. That was unexpected. So it's there and here, along there, here. I hope those birds aren't chirping too loud for you outside. Along this line here, so th there's lines of it down here. So it's highlighting the hand. And then you wouldn't think, but there is actually a little bit of white as well. Now, the white is number four on the canvas, and that is going around. And it's going to be interesting because the, the black here is black, and then you're going to put this next to it on the white, like the white. So that's going to pop, make that pop even more. So that's going to highlight the rows all the way around where you see that white. See that white there? So I absolutely love this image. It gives me feels of hope. It gives me feel of um, being grateful, uh, providence, the beginning, all those sorts of things. So it is destined for a very, very special purpose. Stay tuned to the channel. It may take a while until you see it again, 
and where it's going. But I promise you, you will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. So there's Providence. Again, check out the channel. I'll, I will link, if you don't already know, Diamond Art Club, the channel below. Oh, sorry, the website below. It may or may not be available, but you can always go on the website and put it on your wish list, providing it hasn't been discontinued. So that's our first painting there. Let's pop these over there and pop that down there. And let's get on to the second one. I'm not doing them in any particular order at all, at all. Um, there have been a few Mandy Manzanos that have come out recently. I just haven't been a fan, which is disappointing. Disappointing. Um, yeah, just have not been a fan. Did you actually see what this one is yet? <laughs> Let's have a look together just in case. All right. So we've got our toolkit. We already know what that is. So what do we do? We go yeet over there. Let's look at our sticker. We'll put that on our box straight away because that way I can put these away nicely. Open the dust bag and let's get into it. I don't even keep these bags, believe it or not. I really don't. Who else is a Mandy Manzano fan? Please tell me. What do you like about her paintings? What don't you like? Do you like any particular genres that she does? Let's turn it around. That's our sticker sheet. There's our diamonds. That's rubbish. Let's have a look at this one. You ready? Uno, e due, e tre. Now, I'm not a really big princessy fan. You know, all the, all the princesses that they talk about. However, this one, I don't know. I just adore it. I just adore her. So this is Once Upon a December, 51 by 76, a bit bigger than the one that I just showed you. Again, that's stained gla 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 glass, <laughs> stained glass look. Now, looking at, looking at this with my naked eyeballs, this eye here looks a bit funny. Looking at it through, I've got the hiccups, through there, it's not too bad, but even then, see, her eye looks a bit janky. Like, looks like she's been punched. Like, you know, like, looks like she's been socked in the eyeball. I'm loving the fact that this really does give that lacy, clear chiffon, you know, look there as well. And her dress is coming down. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So, let's have a look. We have got the big sticker sheet here where you can actually, if I didn't mention it before, you can put your start date, your end date, put this in your journal. You've got a sticker there as well. We've got 40 colors in this and we've got, oh, just one AB. Just one little AB in this one, which is the 141. There's no point in taking it out. There it is. There's the colors that we're lurking with. No, working with. Whoever would have thought that with 40 colors, they've only given us one AB. Well, let's find out where that one is. Again, we've got the legends on both sides. I love their legends. They're so beautiful and clear. And I didn't show you before, but the symbols. Honestly, rarely do you have issues with Diamond Art Club and their symbols. This one here, though, does seem to come with guide circles. Hmm. It kind of looks like there's guide circles on them, see? Interesting. Maybe it's just on the lighter colours. Interesting, interesting. However, let's have a look. Number one, well, this thing's going to be bling blinged. So you've got ones that are, you can't see where I'm going. The ABs are going to go all, they're going to again, but right up against this black. So it's going to highlight the swirls in her dress here. And there's going to be ones down here there there's some in here draped down there definitely in her necklace here inside there all in her crown along here so there's quite a lot of ones what would i do if anything huh <laughs> what would i do if anything 
What if, if anything, what if anything? Yes, yes, I'm taking the mickey out of it all. Uh, what I do to Gracie Gracie bling bling this? Hmm, I'm glad you asked. If I was to do anything, because there is quite a lot of white in here, I might, and see there's white ones in there as well. If I was to do anything, because I want to keep my eye to be the center of her here, I'm, I may throw some, if I can find some equivalent green ones in here, um, and maybe um, some in her hair, but not much more than that because I want her to be the standout, not, not the background. Mm. So once upon a December, isn't she beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'm not going to bother taking these out, but there's our diamonds here. There's our color palette. Can you see? So as you would expect, lots of oranges and yellows. You're going to have a lot of black. If you, in, just in case you did not know, Mandy Manzanos will always come with a substantial amount of black. Okay, um, because of the of the lines here, and it's almost like when I do one of her paintings and I do my section, I'll always do the black first, and then it's like coloring in. Now, as far as color blocking and so on, this is a mixture of both again. But you do, you probably got more confetti versus color blocking in this one, depending on how you section out your painting. But definitely not as much color blocking as per the previous one. Okay, but isn't she stunning? I love her, love her. And you know, guys, I will always call a spade a spade. If I don't like something, I will tell you. So that's number two. Now this one here. You know how I always like to do things in pairs, right? So this one was one that I kind of thought might match well with that. Well, you will see how well or how on point I am with that theory. Let me just get it out of the box. Oh, come on, out you come. And out you come. Oh, that one's a bit scrumpled. Let me put that up there and what do we do? Say it with me. One, two, three. Yee! <laughs> this one here I missed out on the first time that it was released, but I figured, you know what, I'll get it on the second or third time that it comes out, and I did. I did. I jumped on the bandwagon and got this one as well. Let's have a look. All right, you ready? This one here, what size is it? Um... It's a 46 by 66, so it's smaller than the, hmm, smaller than the Once Upon a December. But anyway, you ready? Uno, due, e tre. Yes, I got her. Yes, I got her. The People's Princess. I had to. I had to. 46 by 66. I now have her in my collection. Stunning lady that she is. Absolutely beautiful. This one does come with only 27 colors. So this will work up really, really quickly. One AB and what I see down here to be some special gems. So let's have a look and see what all that's about because I'm, I can see straight away they've put something up there. Interesting. Let's see what all that's about, shall we? Okay, so we've got, ooh, we've got these. So they are the pearls that will go up in her crown. Let me lift that up for you. See where it says that 04? Each one of them is going to have one of these pearls put in. Oh, like a true crown. And then, it's a 141, which is the AB. I'm not going to get it out. We've seen it just before, which is the white. There it is there. See there? I don't want to undo it because it's such a, a pill to put back together. But there's a lot of um, the white in there. I, I really am interested. Now, if you haven't checked her out, I do know that my girlfriend, Abigail Marie, 
she used a different uh, gem that she had in her stash and she substituted these out for actual other sparkly diamonds um, in there. And I think I've got the same painting to be able to do the same, you know, to steal some from there if I want to do the same thing. However, this is Color Block Heaven. Color Block Heaven. This is all color blocked. This is all color blocked. It's really, literally, very, very color blocked. Like, as you see the colors through the camera, is that's the, the chunks that you see. The most amount of confetti that you're going to get, which is where you want it, in the crown. That's the confetti that you're going to get there in the crown. See that? But you can see the rest of it is color blocking. So how quick is that gonna work up? You get your multi-places out, people. Get your multi-places. Now, I said I had gotten this with the thought of maybe matching it to another. I don't know if it does because she's a red, she looks like she's got red hair and I didn't realize that when I made the decision. <laughs> ah, hashtag fail. <laughs> doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. That's okay. I still like her. I love her. Uh, doesn't matter. It's not a worry. The only thing that's ever worried me about this painting is I want to fix her lips up. Her lips have never looked right to me at all. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that, but her lips always look to be, mm, yeah, how are you going? See what I mean? Well, she's just got this weird sort of smirk or smile happening. The ABs are going to ooh, line her face. I don't like ABs in the face, so we'll see how that goes. It's above her forehead here. They may end up coming out, we'll see, because I really don't like ABs in the face. It's coming down here on her shoulder lining this here lining lining that there this is so pretty i can't believe this has been sitting on my shelf not being done there there all around her hair i like that kind of gives that halo sort of look whoever i bet you princess diana lady diana Lady Dinah, as her title was. Did you ever think that you would be immortalized on a diamond painting like this? 27 colors. It is a 46 by 66. This will work up really pretty. Look at that. I forgot to show, I'm sure. Anyway, I'll put this here, but you'll be able to see the original artwork here as I get this down and put it away. Oh my God, I can't stop looking at her. She's beautiful. All right, let's put that one down there. Let me put this sticker on the end. Oh, come on, this one, my sticker came a bit scrunched up, look. So a little bit sad. I mean, is it the end of the world? No, because guess what? When you put it on your box, you're not gonna be able to tell. Pick your battles, peoples. Pick your battles. Let's get the next one out and have a look. Uh, let's, oh, did you see? Did you see? Not yet, no. Uh, let's open this one up. Come on, out you come. Who is, I asked before, but seriously, do tell me, are you a Mandy Manzano fan? How many have you done? What's your favorite Mandy Manzano? I love her, I just love her, I love her. Not all of them, I don't love everyone, I don't, you know, fangirl over everyone's, all their artwork all the time. There are some of her pieces that I don't like, but geez, when I like them, I love them. That is for sure, all right. Instructions, yeet. paper, yeet. put that there. Uh, is this the right way? I'm just checking. No, it's not. Let's go around. You ready? You ready, Freddy's? Uno, e due, e tre. Oh, gosh, I love these paintings. Oh, who you say I am? 47 by 68. Oh my gosh, my heart, my heart, <sighs> my heart. 
This one has a lot more confetti in there. Oh my gosh, I really, I'm, I'm just taking a moment. The hands coming around, the girl in the middle. It's like so, it is so healing. It just gives me those vibes of healing. These swirls are just giving me life. They really, really are. Oh my gosh. We have only, again, one AB, which is the white and 35 colors. And there she is there, guys. Wow. Wow. Um, I'm just taking it in like these um, hands. They've got a little bird, a butterfly. Oh, they're just beautiful. There's a butterfly up here. There's things just, you know, going around each finger. Just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This would go well in an adult's room, a girl's room, you know, anywhere. Toolkit, you. Who you say I am. We're not going to get the AB out. Again, it's the 141. Not a lot. Uh, but there's the colours that you're going to be working with. Colour palette. Look at that. There's a new way of showing it like that. There you go. So very neutral tones in this. Um, there's a few blues and purples I can see in there, but not many, which would be in here. Majority of those sort of oranges and reds that you can see in there. Now, the AB for this, is the number one. It's highlighting in here. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be a lot at all. Following the swirls. There we go. It's following the swirls. So what they're doing is they're highlighting these black swirls once again. I actually like that because that means they haven't put black ABs, which if the painting calls for black, you don't want a black AB because a black AB shows off like a prismatic sort of color, like emeralds and purples and greens and all different colors when it's a black AB. So in order to highlight the black, they've been very smart and they've charted a white AB just budding up right next to it, which I like. I like that thought. Uh, what else would I do? To gracie gracie bling bling might end up throwing some in the flowers like where you see all the flowers i might throw some ab's in this flower here i might throw some in the butterfly here and in the bird and in this butterfly oh there's already white ab's in this butterfly so i wouldn't touch that but isn't she beautiful who i say who you say i am Ah, oh, magic, magic. She does a beautiful job with her hands, with the hands in her paintings. Sorry, I'm, I'm gushing and gushing, but she's my favourite artist, guys. Come on, tell me, you, you know, tell me you wouldn't be gushing and gushing if you had the opportunity to be looking at a whole bunch of these paintings all at the same time. Let me get this one open. Now this one here is often out of stock, being that it's so popular and I can understand why. Um, all the ones that we've shown so or big, all the ones that I've shown so far are rounds. Um, as is this one here. Toolkit. Yeet. We'll put that on in a minute. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this is. Can you guess yet? There's so many paintings that I want to start. Now this one, interestingly enough, is a different texture. This canvas is a little bit stiffer than these other ones. Let me see. 
Yep, definitely. There's definitely a difference. This is kind of more a soft lint. This one's got a bit of a stiffer um, sensation to it. Yep, definitely, definitely. I know they're always changing up what they're doing, so this might be from that the next batch of you know paintings that they're brought out. Who knows? Is it the right way? No, it's not. Again, very, very popular. You've probably seen this a million times before, but she's mine now, and I want to see what she looks like. You ready? Uno, due, e tre. I miss you. 55 by 76, Mandy Manzano. Um, I do know that Mandy, I had seen her post somewhere that she was inspired to write, not to write, to paint this. I believe it was at the passing of either her mother or her grandmother, I can't remember which. Um, and yeah, it's aptly titled, I Miss You. Oh boy, this would be such a beautiful healing piece for me right now too. It's got some beautiful bright pinks, um, magentas, burgundies. It's got some beautiful colors. It looks like it's a mm, color block confetti. Like there's not massive lots of color blocking, but you might get patches of it, if that makes sense. This one would take me probably a little bit longer. She has got 41 colors and we've got two ABs, a pink and a yellow by the looks of it. Look at that, look at those colors. Oh my God, the back, oh my heart. Whew, look at that purple. Oh my goodness, that's 820. Let's have a look here. You guys have a look at the original artwork there. But ah, oh, she's just adorable. Absolutely adorable. She's not even all in camera, but the innocence of a young girl um, just looking out the window. Let me get these diamonds out so we can see. Are they side by side? Of course they're not. There's that one. And one, two, eight. Oh no. Beg my pardon, one, three, zero. They're the colors there, look bright, happy, as somber as this would be to diamond paint for purposes that, you know, it would make me think of people that have passed in my life as well. Because of the color palette, it would also give me some sense of joy and happiness. Um, we've got 128 and 130, pink and yellow as I had predicted. So the pink one, which is the number one, I can see straight away is highlighting in here. Down there is, oh, you can't see my finger, there in this area. Um, is there any up the top? Yes, there is. There's just a little bit there. Not much, actually. There's some in here and there. There's none in her face, or sorry, in her, that I can see off the bat. Then we've got yellow, which is the 130, and that's denoted by the number two, and that's highlighting these areas down there. Sorry for the glare, guys. There. See this in two, that two there in here, in this section here. Okay. This area here, this part here and there as well. So they're your two ABs. 
kind of find it a bit weird that she doesn't have like even like a little part of her eye or her mouth there like it's a completely blank face um you can take that one of two ways as far as the artist's intention is she completely looking away that you wouldn't see anything of the profile or is it for you to fill in your thoughts on what is she thinking like what's her facial expression your interpretation of what she would be thinking Look at a pretty butterfly in her hair as well. So, again, hitting this one out of the ballpark. I just don't know which one. Oh, I know Providence has got to get done. That is, um, oh, without question, without hesitation, that has to get done. This one here, though, mm, magic. I might have to make one of my walls a Mandy Manzano wall. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. All right, so we've done our, whoops, five rounds. Let's now get on to oof, our squares. Let's get on to our squares. If Mandy Manzano is not your favourite artist, then please, who is? Who is your favourite artist? Do you have one? Or do you go more for genre? interesting question isn't it okay toolkit yeet. sticker put it there let's uh give me my painting put that down there mm. all right this one seems quite long um long and thin so let's just have a look at it shall we instructions yee. everything else we're gonna have a look in a minute you ready let's get you i might as well leave you zoomed out Doesn't, don't worry about that rubbish there okay just don't worry about it you ready uno due e tre is it the right way up no ha -ha. let's start again uno e due e tre yes Mama knows best. Mama knows best. Based on, I believe, um, can't, her name escapes me from um, Game of Thrones with the three dragons, inspired by that, if you will. Love the red. Love that against the blue. Am I a big dragon person? No. Am I a fan of that mama knows best? Absolutely. Do I think she's stunning? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Look at like, the hair. I had started watching Game of Thrones. I didn't quite finish it all. Then I started watching it with the offspring and we never got to finish it. So it is one that we are going to do. Again, sticker sheet. There is the picture right there. Look at that, look at that smoky look in her dress and, and around. And you can see that it feels like the light's just coming on her here. What have we got? We've got 39 colors and we've got one, two, three ABs. What looks to be a yellow, perhaps a blue, purple, and a white. And this one, ladies and gentlemen, is 47 by 84 and she's a square. Yeah, this one's square, check this out. Yo mama, huh, no pun intended. Very Somewhat muted colors, but then you do get your brights as well, which you would want because of the yellows. True, true my friends, true. All right, let's see if we can get this out without making too much of a big mess. Let's see if we can chomp into them. 130, 136 and 141. Well, well 141 we know is the white, and that's gonna be easy to dig out. Right at the very end. And then we want hmm. Ooh. I wasn't wrong. Oh, and they're side by side, so we'll get them both out. Can we put it back together? 
Can we put it back together? In you get. Come on. Good. All right, so here we go. As suspected, we've got the blue, the yellow, and the white. There's the yellow, and see the sparkle on the AB, that extra coat? And these are squares. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so the yellow, it's not a lot, so it'd be interesting to see where they've put them. There. This line here in the wing of this dragon, a little bit there and a little bit there. On her hair there. Up there. And none in this dragon down here. This one here is number two, which is 136. And that will go I was assuming perhaps in her dress, but I could be wrong. Where does this go? Come on. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, no, I'm looking for the wrong symbol. It's the down arrow. I've got myself all confused. All right, let's start that again. The down arrow, the down arrow, the down arrow, the down arrow. Oh, here we go. Here, if I get you out of the glare, this line here, this line, so these lines down here, denoting the bottom part of her dress here, and there, and here. So it's all lines going down in that direction. All right. Oh my goodness. And one for one. See, so this is a real, I'll show you one here. Why would they go, the third one is number two. See, 141. Why wouldn't you just have called that number three? I mean, would it have been too hard? Would it have been too hard? Uh, so we're looking for the number two. There's a little line of it here. And then if we scroll up, it's in her hair, highlighting her hair. There, and in her here, and it swirls up there. So, absolutely stuck. Look at the colours. Those reds. Oh, my gosh. I mean, like, seriously, look at those reds. Are you going to be loving life or what? And I love, like I said, the smokiness of the bottom. Mama Knows Best is kind of like a throwback to me being mama. Um, mama is, how we say mum in Italian? So I'm loving this painting for that reason. Mama knows best. Let's get this rubbish out of the way. Let's put that down to the side. And we're down to the last one. Can you believe it? Oh my, oh my gosh, and it's a heavy one. Oh, mamma mia. It's a heavy one. Come on. Open up. This one feels like it's going to be humongous. Open up and give me my painting. Why are you being so stubborn? Oh, actually, before we get ourselves all confused, let's put Mum and Nose Best on the box. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's take this off. This feels super heavy, guys. I think she's a giant one. Whew. Oh my gosh, like really giant. I'm like really, really scared. Toolkit, yeet. Rubbish, let's get this out of the way. Oh, I've got to put that on. I forgot to put some stickers on, peeps. Put them onto the floor. We'll deal with those other stickers in a minute. Of course, the biggest one has to be a square, right? Of course it does. Oh, 
Goodness gracious. Oh, and it's going. And it's still going. Oh, mamma mia. I'll be a bit scared. Oh, those diamonds feel so heavy. She's huge. Um, the other way. Oh my gosh. I have to make some room. Hang on. All right, you guys, you've had your time in this time light, in the in the spotlight. Just just go over there. Pop yourselves up there, would you? Be good. Oh, it fell in the sink. Holy sh. Anyway. Will it go out anymore? Oh, a little bit. You can see all the things now. Is it the right way? No, let's do it the right way. Mm -mm -mm. This is huge. Uno, due, e tre. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, like wow. Love one another, 70 by 101. Woo, baby. Um, help. <laughs> help. Instructions. Yeet. 62 colors with one, two ABs. And square. Square, peoples, squares. Lots of greens, lots of greens. Oranges, yellows, a few pinks in there. Browns, you're going to expect a lot of the browns and skin tones for the hands. And there's a lot of green for this entire background. I mean, let's go around, you've got a pelican here. You, look, you've got a turtle, turtle. This one's got a bit of animation in it. You've got a rose underneath there. Again, things draping through the fingers. Roses. You've got some more flowers down here in the corner. Look at this turtle just going along its merry way. I love that. Okay, let's bring it up. We've got a rose up there coming out of that beautiful background. She's just happy-go-lucky, smiling, loving life. He's presenting her with a turtle. Um, okay then, here, here, be with me, have a turtle. I mean, hmm, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Uh, we've got another birdie up in the corner. Let's move it up a bit more. We've got the timber, we've got some just, you know, they're in this wilderness. These leaves and branches just draping down. She's laughing. She makes me happy. Look at her. She just, it's like, oh, you just didn't. You just didn't bring me all the way up to these treetops just to give me a turtle, right? Seriously, did you? Did you really? <laughs> but love one another. And I guess, you know, take from that that it doesn't matter what you get given in life. Love one another. Oh my goodness, that is so precious. Lots of um, colour blocking down here, colour blocks in these sections. The hands have got sections of colour blocking as well. I love how she's gotten away with doing the fingernails as swirls. Can you see that? Like, how's that for just something different? They're like swirls as opposed to a definitive nail. Interesting. Um, Interesting, interesting. So with this, we've got, oh, there. there is a lot of diamonds here. And it's square, 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 square. Where are the ABs? Do we dare go diving for these ones? One for one is the white. We know that. Um, one, two, nine. Well, there's a one, four, one. That's all the way at the back here, so that's easy. Oh, and wouldn't you have it? It's right here, the other one. Is it? Yes. Bit disappointing that in all of these, 
there's only these two bags of ABs, especially for such a big painting that I think they might have been able to do better. Uh, this creamy yellow one, this one here, is the number one. That's here. Oh, I like this as a pointer there. In her dress. A little bit on her eyelid here. Oh, we'll see how that one goes. Um, there's just a touch up here as well. A little bit there. I like this as a pointer. Hmm. Is there any down the bottom? No. And the 141, which is the white, is the number two. And this is highlighting everywhere you see my uh, scissors pointing to. All in here. There, it's swirled around in this flower there. There. In here. Everywhere you see my scissors go, the point of the scissors is all where that white is going. Literally. So it's highlighting her dress, the collar of her dress. Oh, there's a little bit in her lips and her schnoz, her nose. Interesting. There's a few ABs in the face here, faces here. Don't know how I feel about that yet. Down there. Everywhere you see my scissors pointing, is where that white AB is. So you can see there's quite a, a substantial amount. And the, 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 oh my gosh, I was gonna say fluff. <laughs> the dove, the flower, the, the bird, the bird, as the birds outside chirp, has got it up there. Uh, have we got an, in the pelican, outlining the pelican here? Not all of it, but it's kind of following the black outline of, of the pelican in these petals of the flowers. A little bit in the turtles down there. In Is that supposed to be water? I don't know. Green water? Swampy water maybe? I don't know. Um, let's see where else. It swirls up the top here in this rose here. And there, there, there. Oh, th did you see that? Did you see that? What's that? That's a little butterfly up in the branch up there. Wow, she's huge, people. Huge. So there are two ABs. Let's put these aside. I'm glad I didn't have to go digging too far for them because I would never be able to get these out. Oh, uh, sorry, not out. I would never be able to get them back in again, I should say. It would be really, really hard. Wow, so we've got, that's it, that's it. Which was your favorite? Tell me. We've got love one another. Let me get these others from down here. They're not gonna be in any order. Should I put them, I might actually, hang on, hold that thought. Voila, so here they all are. What do you think? Which one is your favorite? She's a monster. She's a monster compared to the others. Oh my goodness. But that is my Mandy Manzano Mega Marathon unboxing for you. They're the ones that I will add to the ones that I've already got, um, that I've already shown on the channel. Uh, but which one is your favorite? Which one draws you the most and is it the color palette that uh, you enjoy is it the the meaning behind the painting which one is your favorite if any at all you don't have to like any of them <coughs> pardon me I think for me I need to do Providence uh, as I said I've got a special thing for that um, I really really can't choose this one I want to do because I know it will be super, super quick. <laughs> the Diana one, I think that will work up so quickly. And that will give me such a feeling of satisfaction of completion. I think looking at them all, I'm drawn most to doing uh, 
who you say I am. I think that's the one. If I need to be drawn to do something, speaking to me the loudest, it would be that one. And then it would be um, miss, I miss you or missing you up the top. But I love them all. Anywho, enough of that. If you've gotten to the end, please, I would absolutely love, love for you to leave, I don't know, give me a flower emoji in the comments below. That would be lovely. And if you've gotten to the end, thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out. And in the meantime, wherever you are in your part of the world, please look after yourselves. Look after each other. Have each other's backs. It's so, so super important. And until I see you next time, I'm going to send you all much, much love and ciao, ciao for now.